Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie Nelson from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. Today we have a video showing how we use our high powered blower for the first time on our seven week old Angora baby kits. So you'll be able to see what a normal experience is for rabbits first hand, first time using, uh, being around the blower. So some of the bunnies might do really well, some of the bunnies might get scared, but you'll be able to see what we do and what is a normal experience if you are uh, raising rabbits and if you have rabbits and you're exposing them to the high powered blower for the first time. This is our first little baby and it's a seven week old half German Angora, half English Angora uh, baby. And I didn't check if it was a doe or a buck, but you can see there's little bits of hay, little bits of debris. This is quite common in a baby's coat. Uh, we can see down to the skin, which is good. We kind of do a little, just a, a very short, very brief inspection, just making sure we don't see anything such as fleas. Um, our babies have very dirty noses. Uh, they, If you have an, a rabbit that has a drippy nose, uh, if it's kind of sneezing, snuffling, that is a sign that you need to seek medical attention or care for your rabbit medically because it might have some, something named snuffles but this is not this is a bunny that had uh, was getting in the pellets and got all dirty so there's a little bit of a mat forming behind this ear a little bit behind this ear there's not much matting started yet you just kind of do a general little very small inspection so all the while we're not this bunny is like hey let me go all the while we're not making great noises there's not banging there's not loud things happening i am speaking quite loud just because uh, just to make this video so nice bright clear eyes nice clean Nice clean ears, overall a nice good little rabbit. So we are going to turn on the blower. There's two settings on our blower. I'm gonna turn on. That's just a very brief introduction for the blower for this bunny. This bunny did very well. You notice there's some holds, so the bunny's shoulders, they're right here. So if we hold by the shoulders and kind of put the ears down, that helps protect their ears. Also, it helps them not move around. You have a little bit of control. You're not grabbing hard on your bunny. And you know, you just pet the bunny, give them lots of love. This little one did very good for the first time blowing. We keep it short as you can tell. Our next little bunny is a buck. This little boy already has a home. So he's a very good little boy. He has beautiful eyes. There's marbling of the eyes. They're partial blue, partial brown. This is the most gentle buck of the litter. He has a little bit of dirty nose too. We do the same thing. Take a look. Kind of just give your bunny the little inspection. If there's any big pieces of hay or debris, just remove them. Same thing, it looks like there's a little bit of matting right here. 
behind the ears, that's pretty common. Normally we can normally we can cut that out. Looks like we have a little bit of debris by the tail. A little bit of hay stuck. Very good little buddy. Nice crimp. But this is a baby, babies. These babies have nice crimp. This is a good little bunny. So this little bunny has never seen a blower before. So you'll notice what I did with the last one is I turned the blower on and it's getting the bunny used to the noise of the blower. I don't necessarily put the blower on the bunny right away. We wait a little bit and we just introduce it. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna turn the blower on and just see how the bunny responds. before so that's what this little guy was doing but he didn't he didn't do terrible at all he did very good and it's again it's not a full coat blowing it's just in little bits getting them used to it getting them used to the feel letting them know it's okay so he did good now this bunny is 11 days younger than the others born on February 26th this is a little girl and she's 100% German dough. Now we're not gonna turn the blower on with her just yet. What we're getting her used to is just sitting on this little table. That's it. Sometimes um, some bunnies do easier when they're just getting acquainted with the area that you're going to groom them on. Just let them know it's all okay. It's all okay. has a little spot on her ear. Wonderful. A little bit of debris that we can trim out of her wall. Just getting her used to being handled. Good job, good job. So all right everybody, that's how we introduce our babies to the blower. It's kind of one step at a time. You saw the youngest one we introduced just by setting them on the counter, setting them on our table. We don't turn the blower on. The other ones that are a little bit older, um, they've been on the counter before and what we do is we simply turn the blower on, let them get used to the sound and then start blowing their wool. Feel free to hit the thumbs up button if you found this video helpful, as well as the subscribe and the bell button if you want notifications for our other videos. Thanks.